The animals on the Galapagos Islands have been the focus of many scientists over the years. That's because many of the animals have survived and evolved far from the South American continent. Because they have evolved in isolation from the animals on the mainland, they have characteristics unique to the Galapagos Islands. On the island of Fernandina, the fur seals have developed with some characteristics different from fur seals found elsewhere. These fur seals have no experience with humans, so these fur seals show no fear of humans. These fur seals make their homes in and among the rocks which have formed here by the ocean. Scientists, such as Fritz Trilnick here, have studied these animals. Now, when a scientist goes out on a trip like this, the first thing he normally does is try to identify each of the individual animals they'll be studying. Dr. Trilnick is particularly interested in fur seal pups, the young ones. He has to search them out down among the rocks, because that's where they live. When he locates a single pup, he and his wife, Inca, extract the pup from the rocks where it's been staying. The, the pups are not happy about being caught, and they do have sharp teeth. Each animal has to be measured for the record. Here, Dr. Trilmick is using a measuring tape to determine the length of the pup, the size of its flippers, and so forth. He also uses a standard ruler. Then he creates a unique brand on the fur of the animal, form the letter Y, so it can be identified at a distance. Then he prepares to weigh the animal. He and his wife struggle to stuff the animal safely into a gunny sack. The pup doesn't like the gunny sack, but it's the safest thing for the pup. A simple spring-mounted scale is used to measure the weight. The release of the animal is fairly easy. It scampers off into the rocks and disappears. Then, Dr. Trilsnick goes looking for the next victim. And, of course, it's another pup. This pup gets identified with a squarish symbol. The process does not hurt the animal. The measurements are registered in the lab notebook. The final step is to weigh the animal. In the process, they check to determine whether the animal is male or female. There is the usual struggle to get the pup safely into the burlap sack. Then they hook the spring scale to the burlap bag and weigh the animal. The pup scampers off. The process continues hour after hour. At the end of each day, Dr. Trilmich reviews his day's work, goes over his notes, and makes any comments in his record. The next day, he's out again. 
but this time to observe the pup's behavior. He can easily identify his chosen subjects. They have the brand. Dr. Trilmick is studying both the behavior, that is to say, the interactions, and also the vocalizations of the pups. Dr. Trilmick uses a portable tape recorder to record the barks and cries of the pups. He uses a very directional microphone to try and reduce the ocean wave contamination in his recordings. Also, he tries to get as close as possible to the subject to minimize the amount of noise from the ocean. Some of the pups are curious. Dr. Trilmick's main focus is on behavior. That is to say, the interaction between the pups and other pups, and also between the pups and their mothers. To record these interactions and these special movements, he's developed a special keyboard. Each key represents a different activity or interaction. He observes the behavior, then uses the keyboard shorthand to record the activity in real time onto a recorder. The data will be analyzed when he returns back to his laboratory. He sits for hours each day. First, he spots a new animal to observe, then he records it. Finally, he uses some visual documentation. He takes a 16 millimeter movie camera to record special encounters. These movie films will help remind him of some aspects of the study after he's returned to his laboratory. Scientists working in the field have to be creative and well prepared. This has been one chapter or video I've put up on YouTube to show the work of nature scientists in the Galapagos Islands. To view other videos in this series, enter the words Cabo Haman in the YouTube search box.